Weather coverage you can count on with Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. Let's get a look at the uh, regional satellite and radar picture. We have had some showers and storms continue across southern parts of Alabama into Florida, Georgia as well. There was actually a brief tornado this evening uh, in the Florida panhandle, but uh, the severe threat for the rest of the night appears to be pretty low for that part of the country. And as far as North Alabama is concerned, we are going to stay dry tonight. The uh, latest look at the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network is all clear and we'll stay that way tonight and through the day tomorrow as well. Cooling down though, temperatures down to the upper 40s in Huntsville, uh, clear sky and winds are certainly calmer now than they were last night when we had occasional gusts eclipse 50 miles per hour. Uh, that will not be an issue for us tonight or the next several days for that matter. Elsewhere, we have mid 40s in Coleman. It's 48 in Gadsden, still some 50s around Sand Mountain, but eventually we will all cool down close to 40 tonight. 40 is our forecast low in Huntsville with again a mainly clear sky. Your uh, hour by hour forecast Cast for Friday in Huntsville looks pretty quiet. It will be cooler after we've had three straight days of highs in the low 70s, closer to uh, normal for Friday with highs mainly in the upper 50s. A couple spots like Decatur might get close to 60 degrees, but most of us will top out in the upper 50s tomorrow. As for your Saturday, low to mid 50s for most of us, including 54 in Huntsville and 52 in Gunnersville. Not too different for Sunday, might rebound to the mid and upper 50s in a few spots, probably a little bit cooler the farther east you go to close out the weekend. Let's get to the latest from our Storm Tracker Future Radar. We're not going to see any precipitation tonight, tomorrow, or through Friday night, but as we head toward the weekend, we will start to see our next round of precipitation. It's not going to necessarily be the case for everyone, uh, but some of us will get some wet weather. As for the first half of the day Saturday, it does look like it will be dry and we may even have some sunshine early on. But as the afternoon wears on, we'll start to see rain chances uh, surging in from the south. Now, if you live in northwest Alabama, there is actually a decent chance you end up staying completely dry this weekend. The farther east you go, the better your chance at seeing rain. And then as we cool down on Saturday night, there is at least some potential for it to be just cold enough for that rain to switch over to snow or a rain snow mix that will be most likely in the higher elevations of Sand Mountain, Lookout Mountain, uh, back down south toward uh, Talladega National Forest. They could see uh, that wintry mix as well. So those are the areas we'll be watching for potential of at least brief snowfall on late Saturday night into early Sunday morning. Here's seven o'clock on Sunday morning with still some lingering moisture, mainly east of Huntsville. And then as we head toward Sunday afternoon, that should clear out and we're back to sunny skies as we close out the weekend. So right here, this highlighted pink area is the area most likely to see some wet snowflakes uh, late Saturday night and early on Sunday morning. The rest of us will likely stay snow free, but stay with Way 31 for the latest updates on that weekend forecast. More rain coming our way next week. Valentine's Day looks fairly soggy, especially in the late afternoon through the evening. Probably won't see too many storms with that round, but there is a better chance at storms and potentially severe weather as we head into late Wednesday and Thursday of next week. We'll be keeping a close eye on that after the the cool down this weekend, highs return to the 60s for most of next week.